Good morning, I am Alessandro Seganti, data engineer at Coniton. So today I would like to present you um, the collaborative editing of ontologies using Fluent Editor and Ontarian. Um, I am very sorry that I will not be able to be present at the conference and I hope that at least I will be able to make this presentation live, but in case if there will be any problem this presentation will be shown to you in, uh, in this form. So. Um, the first uh, thing that I would like to do is to introduce, introduce us, so introduce Cognitum and who we are. So Cognitum is a Polish startup, we uh, are on the market since 3-4 um, years and uh, we are uh, developing mainly uh, technologies related to semantic knowledge management. Um, the, what we all the products we are doing are uh, based on top of the um, uh, of the mm, of the standard the stack. So we are uh, using a lot of um, of uh, W3C uh, standard technologies as Sparkle, Owl, RDF, and uh, and all these kind of technologies. And for us, it's very important, and we are commit committed to this to be um, to be fully compatible with these technologies. So. Um, the the backbone of uh, everything that we are doing here is the Ontarian controlled natural language and this is a controlled natural language uh, that can be expressed in various languages for the moment we have implemented this in uh, English, in Polish and in German and uh, using this language it is possible to express all constructs uh, um, that are uh, available in the OWL, um, in the OWL dialect so uh, just that the difference is that this construct will be expressed using uh, uh, English or uh, some uh, some kind of natural language instead of writing XML files and then um, uh, and then all the time this uh, control natural language can be translated to OWL or RDF constructs um, it's important uh, that in for us it's uh, very important that this uh, is possible to do but uh, sometimes it will not be possible because some constructs that we have implemented in the OCNL are not compatible with OWL and this is for some extensions that we have made on the standard then um, the, the, the main products that we, we are developing are Fluent Editor, that is an editor to manage knowledge and, um, uh, and for knowledge management and to create ontologies and to share this ontology with other people. Then it's the Ontarian server, that is a server, um, uh, that, is a server uh, that is working for um, man knowledge management and it's uh, scalable and can be used uh, together with uh, a graph database um, and uh, using Ontario it's possible to reason and uh, and make Sparkle queries and things like this and then there is uh, ask your data anything that is um, a product uh, using which it is possible to add semantic data on top of um, of uh, uh, of data or existing data and then this semantic will be used to um, to better uh, interpret the data that uh, that you have so just a quick introduction to Ontario this is important because uh, we are using Ontario uh, everywhere in our multi-user um, applications so Ontario has full OWL uh, support and uh, it is scalable so it's possible to um, to to create a cluster of Ontarians and uh, they will uh, the performance will be better um, then uh, there is a, a description logic uh, engine so it's possible to reason using description logic or some other um, some other reasoning profiles so, and for the moment we have implemented also OWL RL um, as a superset of OWL RL um, then there is um, it's CNL ready in the sense that you can use the CNL language to access Ontarian and uh, there is the user uh, user management and, and many other two pieces so um, and this was just a short introduction of who we are and now um, I would like to to give you um, a quick 
uh, overview of the things that we are doing in the um, area of uh, collaborative knowledge editing and the multi-user uh, knowledge editing. So um, this first in this first part, I will show you uh, the collaborative knowledge editing in Fluent Editor. So I will not here introduce the tools. So if then you are interested in this, you can ask me. So um, so what is underneath the Fluent Editor uh, multi-user capabilities is is the modularization in Ontario. So, so modularization um, in in our um, in our implementation is uh, a way in which you can um, extract modules of the knowledge, and uh, and this module of the knowledge will represent the things that uh, uh, are um, that are describing the. Um, the instances or the concepts that are inside the knowledge. So if you take a knowledge like the one that is shown here, um, you would see that you can see that Mary um, is a high woman but is also a woman and then she is a woman being. So if we take the module of Mary, at the first step we can stop at, uh, um, at this one, that is that Mary is a wi high woman and that Mary likes Cathy. And then we can go on to the second step and, and add woman inside the module and then we can go on and say and add also human being in the module. So these three modules are, are three uh, distances from Mary to the, um, to the concept or instances to which it's related and this can be, uh, can be set in Ontario and you can, we can decide at which distance it should stop. This uh, behavior is very important inside Ontario for reasoning, but on the other hand, uh, we are using this also in your UI part uh, to show the user only the module he is interested in, in of the knowledge, instead of showing him the whole uh, knowledge. In this particular case, instead of showing the user also information about Mark and John and like this, we will show the user only information about Mary, because probably uh, the user want to modify only things about Mary. So, um, so this is how the the idea behind. So the the user interface looks like this. So in this case, you would see there is there are two Fluent Editor running, and in each one of them there is a different user connected, and both of them have downloaded a module of the knowledge. So as you see here, um, Mary has downloaded. Um, here you have the the a signature of the module. So the things that um, for which the module has been downloaded. So in this case, Mary has downloaded the module for server while uh, John has uh, downloaded a big, bigger module. Um, then if John adds a, um, uh, a sentence so that uh, every server uses a program then he saves the module and you can see here that when he saves the module um, the sentence uh, we, we will show the user the sentence that is uh, has been added. Uh, there is also to remove part because if the, um, if the knowledge uh, has been modified then the, um, the in this case we will add the things that has been uh, modified and delete the, the thing that was before. So after saving into the knowledge base, uh, Mary sees that the, a resync is needed. So when she sees this, uh, she can click on refresh, the, um, the sentence that uh, John has added will be shown, and then uh, this sentence will be added in the, in the current module that uh, Mary is working on. So as you see, this is a simple uh, way in which uh, users can collaborate with and, uh, and work on the, um, on the knowledge. Uh, at the same time. And here we have assumed a, uh, a s an optimistic concurrency and in general this holds. You know, says that um, we, we expect that most of the users uh, are working on different modules of the knowledge instead of um, working all in the same module and in this case um, in this case uh, there should be um, conflicts but if there are conflicts the last save always wins. So this was uh, um, a simple example of how um, how multiple users can um, interact with the knowledge base using um, Fluent Editor. But in the same time, we are always also developing uh, other kind of tools to um, uh, to interact for for more than one user at a time to interact with the knowledge. And so uh, here we'll present these other tools. So. Um, all these tools uh, are generally uh, generic components 
that uh, allow the user to explore and uh, and edit large ontologies. And uh, as Ontarian is uh, is uh, the backend of this, um, everything is scalable in a sense that uh, depending on the size of the knowledge, we can decide of uh, having a bigger cluster and uh, the um, and the, the the application will work the same. Uh, then uh, it's uh, very important for us, uh, in our from my point of view, it's very important that there is a simple and easy CNL interface using which the user can query the knowledge and also see what's inside the knowledge. Um, and then it's customizable, so each component can be used uh, so to, com to, to build uh, new uh, applications. So, uh, one example of this is um, um, is this uh, is the taxonomy tree and the CNL graph. In this case, you have that on the left side there is the taxonomy tree, and um, and this taxonomy tree can be browsed. And then, uh, cl clicking in the taxonomy tree, um, um, a graph of the knowledge related to these nodes will be shown. And as you see in the taxonomy tree, there are the f things. So there are all concepts and instances then there are relations attributes and uh, and rules so also the rules are are separate can be separated from from the rest of the knowledge um, and uh, and on the right the graph is drawn based on the knowledge uh, how it's a representation of the the graph of the knowledge um, then another uh, element or uh, another thing that we are developing for example is for editing in which you can um, load again the um, from the taxonometry things but in this case after when loading uh, we will download all sentences uh, related to this particular element uh, in this case we have downloaded the module for B part of and as you see here this part is working very similar to uh, the way in which the um, the way in which uh, fluent in fluent editor it works, so you download modules for a signature, um, and then here you have the the sentences that uh, that represent that are related to this be part of, and then this can be modified and saved and uh, in the same way which I, I showed before, but this is a web application. Um, and then um, another thing that we we are we have developed is uh, um, an application to uh, modi uh, to to modify the knowledge for more than one user. But in this case, it's for managing rules. Um, and in this case, the rules um, uh, have annotations, so the sentences are, have annotations, and these annotations are used to create a taxon some kind of, of tree that is not a taxonomy tree in this case, but is a tree representing the, the um, uh, rules that are inside, and this taxonomy or relation of the tree is created uh, from uh, the, the annotations that are associated to the rule. And then w there is a part where uh, rules can be added edited and the state of the rule can be changed or things like this and annotations about the rule are shown um, and this is uh, is this is uh, we have implemented this uh, in for a project that we are working on with uh, a client so this is another example of uh, a collaborative way of editing um, ontologies and in this case for editing rules as I was telling all of this is is uh, compatible with OWL uh, and as everywhere else so so these rules that you see here in uh, in CNL, these are um, are in uh, can be translated to SWRL rule, and internally we are using them like this. So this is um, this is it. This is uh, was just a very quick introduction of the tools that we are developing to um, for multi-user um, uh, knowledge management. And um, if you have any question, uh, you can you can ask me. So I think that in in our from my point of view, w the most important thing is uh, is the that the, the 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 interface should be as simple as possible and it should be um, useful for someone that is not uh, an expert and an, an expert about logic and owl and uh, and the semantic technologies so what is very important for us is that the interface uh, looks like uh, a, a normal interface in which you can write in in natural language in reality uh, it's not a natural language but it's a controlled natural language so only a subset of things can be rewritten not the all uh, 
uh, English sentences can be written but still we have found out that for many clients it's um, <coughs> It's very intuitive a way of uh, modifying knowledge base, um, and uh, I we have applied this in various practical cases. And uh, each time we see that uh, that uh, it's um, it's it's interesting for the user to have this kind of way of exploring the knowledge. Thank you very much.